The mission and values of Imaging sounds quite simple, but yet quite lofty. We're heavily in immunotherapy because we think that that's a pillar of cancer therapeutics that really works in this space. What started as a job had become really personal to me in the missions and the values because my own father passed away from gastric cancer, the HER2 positive gastric cancer in which I'm currently studying. My mother is a lung cancer survivor. So it's a real profound um, goal for me to look at this and help other people not go through the same path as my parents had gone through. Look, I've been in the industry as an entrepreneur, I guess, to use your word, um, for nearly 20 years, yeah, just on 20 years. I'd been in the private hospital business here in Australia, and on a trip to the US, I met some oncologists who were also scientists, and when I got to know them, it turned out that they were also trying to cure cancer with these technologies that they'd uh, invented or were working on, and it was quite an extraordinary thing, and it was like somebody turned on a light, and so I decided then that I would go in that area and the rest is history. I find cancer to be such a devastating but endlessly interesting process to work on. And particularly, I'm interested in the immune system's response to cancer. So the idea to harness that patient's immune system, to bring it back into focus and into optimal efficacy so that it can eradicate that cancer, that is the dream of immunotherapy. Hey, Heb. It all started with feeling a lump in my chest. I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer on my 40th birthday. It was my friend that's connected to Imogene that actually happened to be um, a really good ally for me that sat in on the phone. And so she heard the news at the same time as me. It's been a huge, huge impact on my life. It's affected my work, it's affected my kids, it's affected my body, it's affected my mental well-being, it's affected my relationships. The viruses we're testing now with imaging really fall into this group, which are viruses where we now leverage the experience of genetic engineering over a period of 30 years, and now have come up with some of the very best and most promising viruses. And now the FDA and the government is actually allowing us to move fast enough that we may make a difference. And uh, so, very exciting times, and I'm expecting that a number of viruses from us, from others, will come to the market as real medicines and come to help patients get through their cancers, live longer, and hopefully be cured. And so, very exciting times. And I will say, patients are my North Star. I'm in this business because I want to help patients. I want to change their trajectory and ultimately to help cure those patients. And one of the reasons I'm at Immunogene is I feel like the technology and the team here is going to help to de deliver that next wave of therapies that's going to have a massive impact on patients. And I'm lucky that I had a, a big network of people that wanted to support in that sense. And that meant that I got that immunotherapy, knowing that my oncologist would recommend it, but she couldn't give it to me for free. And it wasn't part of the standard of care at the time. I mean, that's, that's painful to hear because that means that there are other people that if they're not aware of it, they're not getting it, or if they can't fund it, they can't get it. I definitely hope that that changes in the future. More types of immunotherapies in the market is a good thing. It's, it's, it's going to open up more options. It's going to improve um, outcomes for patients, basically. Um, the more that there is available to people, the, the cheaper it's likely to be, the better it's likely to be. It gives, it gives people more choice. Anything that gives cancer patients more choice and more options is, is a good thing and improves the quality of life.